Hi Emerson, this is Miss Black. This is your April 14th art, primary art lesson. Uh, it's in the color theory division. And we are going to talk about um, decorating our thank you cards for the first responder program. I will show you this again at the end of the video, but this is the email address that you're going to want to send your pictures of your child's finished activity to. So you can choose any number of different coloring pages that you would like to say thank you on them. I just went ahead and chose the puppy dog. Um, one of the things that goes with this lesson is helping our students to think ahead and organize their thoughts before they start a project. So I'm going to want them to look at the chosen coloring page and I'm gonna want them to think through what colors do they want to use to do the project with. I chose a sky blue, a red, and then my dog is gonna be brown. So I went ahead and I chose those colors and I put them in my supply jar. And then of course we have Miss Kiwi's Hedgehog pencil sharpener so that we can sharpen it when we need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move my tray and then here is my workspace again. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull out my page. One of the things that I want the students to focus on with this lesson is pressure points. A lot of times we see a newer student who will take a crayon or um, a pencil and they'll push really, really hard and um, many times break the crayon or break the pencil that they're using. So when we're doing this activity, I want my students to think about how much pressure are you putting on your writing utensil. We wanna make sure that we practice feeling what it feels like when we're coloring in just the right pressure so that I'm not so light that I can't see what I'm doing. But I'm not so hard that I'm not going to break the equipment. So I think I've got a pretty good pressure going right now. I can see the color that I want quite clearly. My pencil's not bending, so I'm not pushing too hard. And then again, I'm still practicing those long strokes that we did in our first lesson. If we go outside the lines a little bit, that's fine. They're just practicing. And the more practice that we give them, the less likely they're going to be to go out of the lines. Miss Black likes to put that color line inside. It makes it so much easier for me to stay inside the black lines. We also, in Montessori, spend a lot of time working in a realistic genre. So that would mean that when I'm coloring something or I'm painting something, that I'm using the real colors that I would find anywhere in my day. So for example, if I'm doing the realistic genre, my dog is not going to be pink. My dog is not going to be blue. My dog is going to be a typical color that I would see in my neighborhood, let's say if I was on a walk. Sometimes we will give work where we want to concentrate on creativity. And when we're concentrating on creativity, we're going to state that in the beginning of the lesson 
And then that way the child knows that they can use all their creativeness they want to and they can paint or they can color a polka dot purple dog. With this activity, we are working in a real format. So we wanna make sure that the colors that they are using are what you would see if they were on a walk in the neighborhood. An example of this work would be this. And then I would take a picture of this and then I would send this picture to the address of our first responder thank you coordinator. This is just another one that I found online that I printed off. You're more than welcome to print off a different thank you note and do it if you'd like. And here is the email address that you wanna send the finished products to. That's lesson two. Thank you.